Hello, how you all doing tonight? Um, first and foremost, I'd like to thank God for blessing us all this to the day that wasn't promised to us. I just thank God for grace and His mercy that kept us alive today because God, He didn't have to wake us up. But God loved us so much, despite of our mess, He still forgive us. I want to thank you all as well for supporting me sharing my videos it means so much to me but all the praise go to god it's not me i just i just thank god for using me each and every day you know um this is the day the lord has made let us all rejoice and be glad in it but <clears throat> i just want to come on here to say no one is perfect no one is perfect and everybody have a past you know, the thing about it is that people forget they had a past. They forget where they came from. Yes, I have a past, but God forgave me for my past. God delivered me from my past. God healed me from my past. The only person that bring your past up is the devil. And I can't stand when a person... Forget about their past. But I'm not going to throw a past up in the person's face because I know how it feel. Because I've been hurt. When someone's trying to be even with me, oh, you forgot you used to do this. You know? Yeah, I did. But God delivered me. God healed me from that situation. So, yes, that was me. But I'm a new person. I'm a new creature. So, you don't let no one tell you about your past. They bring it up. You say, but God... Healed in me and he delivered me. No one is perfect. Everybody make mistakes. No one's perfect but God. Yes, I fall short at times. I do. I never say I'm better than nobody. I don't come on here judging anyone. I come on here doing what God called me to do. And people get mad at me sometimes, but oh well, they'll get over it. I'm out for the sugarcoat the word of God with no one. If you feel like you, I'm judging you, that means God's convicting your heart. That means it's time to be set free. It's time to be set free of your bondages and your strongholds be holding you down. So many people is in bondage. Strongholds don't want to release off their bodies because they know it's not right what you're doing. You go to church and a preacher start preaching and you start feeling bad. I don't want to come to church no more. You what are you running for? That's how you're gonna be set free by the truth. That's how I got set free. I didn't want to hear what nobody to tell me. I know what I was doing was wrong in my life, but I choose to live the life how I wanted to live when I wasn't saved. But people was telling me the truth. But I didn't want to hear it. See, people can't tell you nothing. Nobody can't change you, a man or a woman, but God. You can't change somebody. You can't marry somebody and then you get married to them think you're going to change them. Or get in a relationship with somebody think you're going to change them. Stop holding on to things that God has said put down. God didn't want you with this man. He didn't want you with this woman. But you kept praying and begging God for this man and this woman that he said he didn't want you with. So he gave it to you. And then as soon as he gave it to you, you complain telling God to take him away from you. That's why I tell people, be careful what you pray for. Be careful what you ask God for because God going to give it to you. Stop rushing relationships that's not of God. You pray, ask God, if this man for me, if this woman for me, stop being less shit because you lonely. Because you miss this person. If it's meant, it will come back. Stop trying to put the pieces together when God said, no, it's not for you. Leave it. Walk away. God will bless you with that man of God, with that woman of God in your life. But you got to hold on. God got to work on you. Before he send that person to you, God said he will give you what I will give you, give us what our heart desires. But people got to be patient. That's the problem. People don't want to be still and let God be God. Be still and let God work your situation out. Start trying to put your hands in someone. God already doing it. The reason why he can't keep doing it because you keep getting in the way of his working. 
If this 14, 14 say, say, God said, hold your peace. I shall fight your battle. Stop worrying about or getting even with people who didn't try you and did wrong towards you, who didn't talk about you on Facebook or didn't talk about you in your life. So what? God said he going to take care of them. He going to fight your battles. He going to take care of your enemies. Stop trying to go fight something. Stop going out there trying to go kill somebody. What, what, at the end of the day, what is it going to benefit you? You going to jail for the rest of your life. You don't see your children. You don't see your family. Now you behind bars. You can't blame nobody for your life but yourself. Everybody have a will. Everybody got a free will, heaven and hell. I'm not going to force nothing down your throat. I can't make you believe in the God I believe in. I can't make you do anything. You got to be the one to say enough is enough. I know a lot of people is reaching out to God right now, surrendering to God right now. Today, tomorrow, tonight is not promised to nobody. Stop living this sinful life. Stop living things that's not of God, okay? The devil don't care about you. He don't care you go to heaven and hell, really trying to get you to hell because he know he don't have left on earth before God's coming back. That's why the enemy is busy working through children, working through parents, sisters, brothers. He know what he's doing. He's trying to tear us apart. He's working on his children. But guess what, devil? You allow no weapons form against us shall prosper. You got to start praying and fasting. People want to get there. And, they want the blessing, but they don't want to go through the storm to get the blessing. You got to go through some things. You got to sacrifice some stuff to avoid the God to bless you. Okay? It's just that I just want to come on here and say no one is perfect. People get saved one day and next day they act like they don't have a past. They want to throw up in the church homes. They want to turn their nose up and act like you better than the next person. You just got to deliver yesterday. That's why so many people leaving the church because the people in the church is getting them out of church. How can you love when you hate the people you worship with every day? You praise with. You talk about them all day in church. You sleep with the pastors. The ravens. Gay people behind the pulpit trying to leave the choir when God said that's not of him. There's going to be blood on the pastor's hands. Stop worrying about what the pastor's doing. Stop worrying about what the congregation doing. You come there, get pay your tithes, do the work for God, be an usher, sing in the choir, do right by God, and, and go, go home. Stop stopping and talking about people all day. You know the pastor's going to find out. <sighs> Pray for the pastors. Pray for the church homes. Pray for Nigeria. Pray for Africa. Pray for this nation. God is about to do some things in this world. And I tell you, these oil prices are dropping because God is allowing this stuff to happen. And I tell you, these two years ago, the oil dropping. People are going to lose their jobs. Stop spending this money on vacations, on foolishness. Stack up on water. Put food in your house because guess what? You're going to need it. I don't care if you've been your job for 50 years. They will cut you loose. And what you're going to fall back on when you don't have nothing. But don't fear. Because God going to take care of his children. So be blessed. I love you all. I, when I say I love you all, I love you. I made over 80 some videos. I ain't know I made probably 80 some videos. Because I love you all so much. I take the time out of my day. Sometimes I can't come on here because I be busy Doing things in my life. I have a family as well. But I take time to come out here and make videos. To reach out to lost souls. And I pray that every time I make these videos. That God touch a heart. Touch a lost soul. Too long. Everything going to be okay. And remember it's a test from God. Well, it's a test. God is able. Stand on God's words and his promises. You can follow me on Facebook under LaShawn Jason. I have street ministries. I have stand on God's words. Follow me. May God bless you and may God keep you all. Keep covering yourself in the blood of Jesus day and night and your children and your family. Be blessed.